In this video, we're going to be analyzing velocity versus time graphs. There's a flowchart presented in front of you that has a couple of quick and easy steps to distinguish what's going on with the motion of an object. Definitely one of the most important things to know is that the slope of any velocity time graph gives you the acceleration of the object. So first of all, I want you to take a few moments to look over the flowchart carefully before you talk over the details. All right, let's start up top. If you notice a velocity versus time graph has a completely flat line and has no slope, that means that the velocity is not changing, therefore it is constant velocity. And really from there, all you're looking at is its position in relation to the x-axis where it is zero. If it is directly on zero, that is the only place it could possibly show that an object is at rest. If it is above zero, that means it has a constant positive velocity and it's moving forward in some way. If it is below zero, that means it's going in the negative direction, which means just going the opposite direction. And that's really about it for constant velocity. Now going to the bottom, if it has any sort of slope or slant to it, that means that there is an acceleration. Just like we talked about before, the slope is the acceleration. So if there's any sort of slope, that means it is speeding up or slowing down. Now, one of the most common issues is that people will see a slope that is slanted in the positive direction and assume that's speeding up, or they'll see a slope that is negative and they'll automatically assume that it's slowing down, neither of which are true. So the quick and easy way to identify if it's speeding up is to see if the line is moving away from zero. If the line is slanting away from zero, that means it is going away from zero, therefore getting a greater and greater positive velocity or a greater and greater negative velocity. Remember, negative just shows the direction. So negative five isn't smaller than negative four in the sense of velocity. It just shows that it's going five meters per second in the other direction, but it is greater than four. On the other end, on the bottom here, you look at the exact opposite. You're looking for a line that's going towards zero. If it's moving towards zero, that means your number is getting progressively smaller as it heads towards zero, therefore it's slowing down. And just like what we saw in the top here, if you wanna see the direction that the object is moving, you just take a look at the line's position in respect to the x-axis. If it is above zero, then it is definitely moving in the positive direction. If it is below zero or below the x-axis, then it's definitely going in the negative direction. So again, you want to take a look at, is it moving away from zero or towards zero if you're trying to d differentiate between speeding up and slowing down? Okay, that pretty much sums it up for velocity versus time graphs. Thanks for watching and listening.